It's just an aluminum rod. Yeah. Come up here. Okay. Or I'll come to you. It's even easier. So we put a little bit of rosin on it to make it sticky, and if you drag your finger across it, uh, you see the black part where it's all sticky, it's going to make your thumb a little black. So just squeeze with gentle pressure and try pulling along it. And you want to hold it right in the middle. Uh, it started. Yeah. Here, in fact, I can hold it for you. Okay. If you just. Would you like to try? <laughs> Now you as a musician would, will appreciate sort of just the fun ways that you can make noise with different things. That is pretty crazy. What do you do? Just squeeze, squeeze it and pull it like all the way down. For some reason it tends to work best at the end. Oh, uh, hurts a little bit? I don't know. It feels awkward. So there's a little bit of rosin on there to make it sticky, mm -hmm. which allows us to, to in initiate our vibrations. That's pretty cool. And if I feel really slick about myself, I'll try it there. Oh, not quite the right spot. And I can get a much higher pitch. Oh, nice. And I'm going to rebalance it here because this one's a much easier one to do. So there's certain places, just like when you like play a string, there's certain places that it, it stays and it doesn't move. Mm -hmm. Those are called nodes. And if I hold it at different nodes, I can force different notes. But it only works in certain places. Mm. Thank you. Nice. Okay, come on, come on, join us up front. We have a uh, we have a small group, and we're going to do some intimate science experiments. so good because you can't squeeze it. But you can change the level of the water. How can you change the level of the water inside a Coke bottle? Pour it out. You can pour it out? Although we're from Arizona. We, uh, that's <laughs> so we don't ever put water on the ground. <laughs> That's why we started using a turkey baster as well. Fish tacos are good. And then, when you're, done, when you're done playing tunes on the turkey baster, um, we, in Arizona, we always 
We always use, we reuse and recycle water. So this little turkey baster, after becoming a musical instrument, then is used for hygiene. Sure, uh, so we take showers. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta shake it around a little bit. I'm gonna get a whole turkey baster full of water on my head in a yes. moment. Hey, wait, it did not come up. No, 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 What's going on there? Weird. Just little bits of dripping. Hey, I'm the, I didn't get my whole shower. <laughs> <laughs> on the other hand, uh, so if we turn um, that one over and we just let it go, did yeah, all the water come out? But if I turn this one over and let it go, will all the water come out? Yeah. Uh, well, we should try it, right? Yeah. Maybe, that's, I mean, maybe that's more of a shower than I want. <laughs> there. So we try the one, and it just sort of stops. But on the other hand, if I use this one, it sort of all pours out. But they're both, they both have air in the top, right? If we look at that one. Uh, and yet, for some reason, that one, it comes, it doesn't come out, but this one, it does. So why is that? What's different about these two? The hole. The, the size, size of the, the hole. hole, right? So did you guys know that water is sticky? Yeah. Have you ever heard of water being sticky? No. If you see two drops of water come really close together, uh, what happens? And they, if they touch, they snap together right into one big bubble or one big drop. And that's because water wants to pull together. It's this thing called surface tension. So in this one, because there's such a tiny hole, like the surface tension is pulling so tight that the air can't get up. And if the air can't get up, the water can't get down. Right. On the other, on the Coke bottle, it could get through. And on this one, there's no way I could turn this one upside down, right, without pouring water on, all over and everything. Do, do well, we change to do this over his head? I think I, I'm going to put this one, I'm going to turn this one upside down over my own head. Uh-oh. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> now. I'm going to use the. Oh! I'm going to use a little. I know, gravity. Oh, gravity. <laughs> that was gravity. That's right. Everyone it's saw it. That was it's always test. good to check that gravity is still working because, you know. And what? it's also proof that I'm using real water. So, anyway, now notice if I tilt the glass, the, uh, the water stays parallel to the ground, right? It always stays flat. But watch, something's going to be a little bit different if I swing it around on this thing. So, you think, like, all I have to do is tilt it just that far and it starts pouring out. So I'm going to definitely tilt it that far. Centrifugal. <laughs> and something is not, like, is, is gravity not working? <laughs> they should be falling out, right? Now, um, <laughs> so we check. Was, was there anything sort of sticky about this? Was, was this is this real water? Because you're doing it fast enough. It's because I'm doing it fast enough. And in fact, you feel a bit of a tug, right? You want to run back there and yeah. oh, uh, oh, I, ha I have one of these. Uh, oh, are you going to do an exper a gravity experiment? Wait, well, he's going to set up. Yeah. Okay. So now, would you mind doing it for us? Do you want, we'll not, we'll, you don't have to use the water, you can just use a tennis ball. Okay. Alright? Yeah. That way if it all goes crazy, we won't get super You know, the tennis ball isn't stuck in there either. And we're giving you this special cup, it's made out of plastic. You can see we've used it a bunch of times before. <laughs> but every time it falls, it doesn't... Oh! No. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Just a little bit faster. <laughs> and uh, right. why don't you let it swing it back and forth a couple times before you go upside down. Wow. Alright, now go ahead and swing it all the way upside down, kind of fast. Yes. One more time. Yay. Oh, now I have a question for you. Did you feel a tug when it was upside down? Yeah. Yeah. So that that thing that we're that tug that you're feeling was that caused by gravity? Because uh, gravity's pulling it down, right? If I let this go, would I feel a tug? No. No, but you still felt a tug. Yeah. And that's a study of a force, and it's a study of an acceleration, and those things are what we study when we study physics. So when you talk about physics, you're talking about the world around you. Now, if you guys would all turn around and face Devin over there, he's going to show you the first physics experiment ever done. Well, maybe the second ever done. So it started a long time ago with a guy named Aristotle. And he decided he wanted to see what would fall faster, a rock or a feather. So will you guys head over there real quick? Come on over. I don't want my voice getting tired. <laughs> I've got a lot of hooting and hollering that I have to do later today. Well, how do you guys come back and forth a lot? That's right. <laughs> we, were, we were hooting and hollering yeah. for your playing, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, we were talking about gravity, and gravity's been around for how long? Ever. Uh, Ever. A long time. 